What's going on YouTube? It's your boy OGT Man, and today we got TikTok NPCs are losing it. Now, I remember when they first was starting, like first started doing that, that, that little NPC stuff. At first it was funny to me, but then it just kind of like got annoying out of nowhere. And now, the dude who, who lasted the longer with it, now I'm over the Miles Morales dude, I don't know his name, but he said he was tweaking over it. <clears throat> But anyways, with that being said, let's get to the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let's get on. TikTok NPCs. Gang gang. Mmm, ice cream's so good. Thank you, Jackie. Gang gang. Roses, 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 roses. Turn up to what? 16,000 people. You're starting to piss me off. Wow, is that a galaxy? And up for those, am I making back to my own universe? Whoa. Let's not do that again. This was a trend that happened on TikTok months ago at this point. Honestly, I thought the trend was long gone, but little did I know. Most of the big names that did these streams back then are still doing them to this day. And I feel like the last year has taken quite a toll on a few of them, mentally. Um, take Pinky Doll, for instance. She's arguably the original NPC streamer on TikTok. Or if not the original, she is at least the most well-known person to do these streams amongst most people. These streams gathered her tons of publicity. Not only from TikTok, either. Her content transcended that. Her stuff made its way all the way over to YouTube, which is the primary way I found out any of this stuff was happening. Huge YouTubers like Moist Critical made videos about her, gathering her more popularity. Post Malone went on the Joe Rogan podcast and showed clips of her to Joe Rogan. People do a lot of hate watching. They do a lot of watching shit they hate. I'm a little guilty of that. <laughs> you seen the new NPC trend? <sighs> what is the new NBC, NPC trend? All right. God damn. I know it's not about, I know it's not about no, no Post Malone. Or, I know it's about NPCs, but look at them. That nigga look like an off-brand Jason Momoa. My boy, what happened? Oh, if, or a fake, um, what's his name? Lil Dicky. That's what he <laughs> If you know that old white, that white rapper, you know, if not, those are funny days, bro. Maybe, can you, Jamie, would you I know what it? an NPC is? It is so, character, it is right? crazy, dude. Oh, was... I saw this young, pretty girl that was doing that. It is crazy. And everybody was going, what is going on? Like, what it is this? It is crazy. Like, ice cream's so good. Yeah. Ice cream's so good. Ice yeah. cream's so good. And I'm like, wow. This is kind of crazy. What is that? Hee-haw, yes. You got me feeling like a cowgirl. Let me run in time. Slay, huh? Slay, huh? Slay, huh? Wow. <laughs> it's crazy! That's so strange. It's crazy! It's but crazy! she is really hot, and that helps. <laughs> That's why that works. Like, let's not pretend. Well, it's pretty safe to say that back then, she was everywhere and making bank all at the same time. Apparently, during this time, Pinky Doll was making upwards of seven to ten thousand dollars per day from her. Well, time for me to start. Mmm, ice cream so good. Mmm, ice cream. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. Let me stop. Streams and videos on TikTok, which I mean, that's that's kind of crazy. And I'm sure she was making even more money from stuff like sponsorships at the time as well. It's hilarious. It's like she just had an infinite money glitch. That's that's incredible. But this was months ago. Where is Pinky Doll in 2024? Um, she does makeup tutorials. It, it's, it's not even a tutorial, if I'm being honest, though. It, it, she, like, pretends to be one of the NPCs that you dress up in, like, one of those dress-up games. But it's in the form of a ticked. Eve to me. Mm -mm. Eve to yourself. Eve to yourself. That's fucking funny. Yeah, she also eats very large portions of food all in one sitting. Hey, yo, I'm about to eat this big pizza all by myself and the cheese bread. Rah. Cause 
because I guess that's a trend on TikTok now. I don't know what's going on over there. Literally, everything can be a trend these days. It, it's it's stupid. Apparently, she passed out during one of these streams eating all this food from exhaustion or something. I Maybe she was too full. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna pass out. Yeah, I don't feel good. Yeah, I really don't feel good, guys. There were people still sending her gifts, and there were some people saying that she was, you know, playing and, you know, her head moved. But once the camera actually fell, that's when I knew for a fact that this wasn't any role playing at all. Because if this was a role play, she would end up adjusting her camera and fixing it or saying, oh, my bad, sorry. But in my opinion, that was fake as shit. Um, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. What I just said is absolute blasphemy yeah, to the highest degree. Suck. Pinky doll would never fake anything, obviously. I'm just saying, I feel like you can see her arm move a little bit right before the camera falls. Oh, once the camera actually fell, and then she pulls it twice more to make it fully fall over. At least that's what it looks like to me. She probably got sick of what she was eating and in the back of her mind she was just thinking how do I get out of this? How do I not, how do I avoid eating all of this right now? That would be, that would be fantastic. First thought that comes to her mind, let me fake passing out <laughs> and I'll just end the stream. Make everyone worry about me. That'd be a good idea. She's posted and streamed since so I'm sure she's fine. In fact, she's streaming right now as I record this. So, but there's another NPC streamer that a lot of, if not all of you, have probably also seen. He's none other than Spider-Man, Miles Morales himself. At least TikTok's version of Miles Morales. <laughs> I actually didn't know this at all before doing the research for this video, but his account name is Leaks World with a little face in the middle. This is who I really want to talk about in this video. He's quite infamous amongst the NPC streamers. I've probably personally seen the most clips of him compared to any other NPC streamer, but honestly, every time I've seen him, I feel like it's him either getting into some kind of fight. I'm gonna make it back to my own universe. Fucking God, bro, that shit is so fucking annoying. What the fuck is that, bro? Why are you so fucking loud? You're always so fucking hungry. You're literally always fucking hungry. Are you okay? Why aren't you out saving the city? Fuck you, <laughs> fucking bitch. Or <laughs> <laughs> she look like an NPC too. Why you get mad at his own kind? No, nah, that shit is that's funny. Whew. Bro, when I when I tell you that that was so funny, I I couldn't even hold it. <laughs> he said fuck you bitch. <sighs> nah, nah, that was that was funny. Running from the cops. He was supposed to teach Sir, me everything, you know. You're being trespassed. I'm being trespassed? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You want to take my name? <laughs> hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. Nah, I'm going to do my own thing. <laughs> Funny. So I was going through spice samples and I. Why? Why must you do me like this? I remember when when he first started doing it all. I I would see people because they, they thought it was funny, you know, and they would just post clips of him doing the random stuff. But now it's always him yelling at someone, someone yelling at him. Just some kind of altercation. It, it, every time I've seen this guy recently, I'm just gonna refer to Leak's world as Miles. By the way, I'm pretty sure his name's Malik or Malik. Recently, a lot's been going on with Miles. You see, in his live streams, Miles is quite animated. Anytime he gets any kind of donation 
donation or gift, compared to most other streamers of his kind at least. You'd expect him to be. He's Spider-Man. And the higher the cost of the gift, the more animated he seems to get. This is obviously to encourage the big donations over, you know, the small ones, like the little roses and stuff that cost literal pennies. I don't think Miles expected, however, that people would show up and start gifting things like galaxies to him in mass, causing him to constantly have to, like, you know, run in and out of frame and work up quite a sweat. Have a good day. Thirteen, thirteen. All right. Fuck. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my fucking. That is, that's the face of somebody who doesn't like their day job. <laughs> that boy look like he been running, running, running. I better be the strongest person on earth. I better be the strongest person on earth. Okay, bro. I fucking get it. I fucking get it. Stop. Stop. Is that a galaxy? Fuck you, man. Wow. Is that a galaxy? Enough of those. I might make it back to my own universe. Feels like I'm staying in the same universe. As the viewers begin to spam the galaxies, it seems to visibly annoy Miles. Like, it's very obvious that he's not having a good time. And people are picking up on that, which simply leads to them doing it more. I really don't get that, by the way. Where are people getting all this money to just waste on TikTok Miles Morales? In my mind, even if I had the bank account of Jeff Bezos himself, I still could not fathom spending a single dollar on this nonsense. I love club music, bro. I'm like to dance at the club in high heels on, bro. Spraying your ankle, bro. Dude, you're shocking me, bro. But to each their own, I guess. But it's funny. The anger doesn't just come out when he's getting too many donations. He also gets infuriated when he's not getting enough. As you can see in this clip, he says that he has over 12,000 viewers, but he's angry because no one was sending gifts or liking the stream. There's 11,000 people in here. There's 11,000 people in here. And you guys are not tapping the screen. Tap the goddamn screen, okay? Okay, you see this button right here? Press the... Been. Thanks to the follow. So you guys are amazing. Press the button, bro. There's 12k people in here, bro. Press the goddamn button, bro. Fuck these galaxies, man. <laughs> Obviously, he's putting a lot of work in. At least in his mind, he is. I, I really just don't get how you could get angry at someone for not giving you money for absolutely no reason. Like, let's be real. This? Enough of those. I might actually be able to go home. GG, my boy. GG, my boy. GG, my boy. GG, my boy. R Roar? Huh, right back at right back at you, right back at you, right back, right, right back at you, my friend. GG, my boy, GG, my boy. <laughs> ha, spicy taco. GG, my boy, GG, my boy. Is the dumbest thing ever. Miles has just been at it, saving the city for a bit too long now. I think he's just fed up of the bullshit. But even though he is clearly sick of doing this, something's got to pay for the Lamborghini, so. Holy shit. Yo, 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 yo. What do you do for a living, bro? Shit, this is a nice car. Uh, I'm gonna do my own and I don't so I asked chat Jeep you riding around in a Lambo and you mad nah job would cut it Can unless he just it. rented the one in this clip I don't know that's still a lot of money that's a waste. To this day, Leaks World continues to embody Miles Morales on TikTok Live. No, wait, you may think I'm done talking about it, but hey, wiggle your mouse a little bit, or tap your screen, or wh whatever you're watching on. Move your controller joystick. Look at that timeline. The video's not over. Why isn't it over? Leaks World has recently ended up in the hospital after getting, and I quote, knocked the fuck out. <laughs> Dang, Bill's 10K? <laughs>
his full video is kind of long, so to avoid, you know, putting the entire thing in here and, you know, stealing all his content, here's kind of what happened. It's all in his Instagram or on his TikTok or whatever, if you want to go look and see the original post yourself. I'll put some clips in, don't worry. He first states and makes it very clear that he was, in fact, not fighting the Sinister Six, in case anyone was worried or wondering about that. So I got knocked the fuck out. I'm gonna steal all my No, guys, listen, listen. No, it wasn't Miguel. <laughs> No, it wasn't the Sinister Six or me saving the Baltimore Bridge. Stop this! It was me actually waking up from being unconscious in the ER. In fact, I believe the caption on his post was how I found out I wasn't Spider-Man. Wait, what? He's not? So he's been lying the whole time. Had me fooled. Basically, he was streaming like usual, but this time he was approached by a nightclub owner. The owner invites him into the club, he gives him a table, he's hanging out with people in there, drinking, until it gets to the point where, in his words, he was way past his limit. When he realized he's a bit too drunk, he tries to leave the club. But on the way out, a group of guys came up to him, pulled him to the side, and basically just asked him for his Instagram and stuff. He said the last thing he remembers is them trying to fight him because they thought he was trying to steal the guy's phone. Hopefully what I just said made sense to you, because I said it kind of fast. I try to find my way out of there, and I get approached by some people asking for my Instagram. Let me remind you, this is the worst time to come up to me and ask me questions. Last thing I remember is them fighting me over thinking that I'm going to steal their phone when I'm just trying to put in my Insta. I'm about to type it in. No, bro, we're sick. Because if you it's, take my it's phone, it's I'm, I'm world. Gonna He's world. not going to take your phone. He's not going to take He doesn't need your phone. Maybe Malik was a bit too drunk to speak or something, I, I don't really know. But I assume the reason he was trying to grab the guy's phone was so that he could just quickly type in his Instagram instead of having to have some long, drawn-out conversation telling the dude letter by letter what his Instagram was. Just let me type it in real quick, and I'll be on my way. Appreciate it. Like, I, I, I kind of get the reasoning there. I kind, of, I kind of understand that, why he would want to grab the phone. But for some reason, the other dude assumed the absolute worst of the situation, and this happened. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Bro, that was bad. That was bad. I woke up in the hospital with a camera in my room and my hand strapped to the bed for apparently trying to fight the nurses to not cut open my suit. Which they did anyways. Oh, no. Not the yeah. suit. Fuck. How could you be a superhero without it? As you can see, Miles has had it pretty rough the last couple weeks. I really do wonder how long I'll keep this up, though. Like, do you think a year from now, you'll still be able to open up TikTok, get... If he does this from a, a year from now, he's getting blocked on everything. I promise you, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Thank you for the roses. I, I, um, I, I, I damn sure don't want to hear that. But anyways, made it to the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Without that being said, it's your boy OGT Man, and I am out.